Bullying is really a very common problem. It's existed for a long time. We now know that it affects up to a third of children are bullied during school and up to 15% are bullied online in cyberbullying. So this is an enormous public health problem and something that really demands our action. We can't any longer accept it as just a fact of life for kids growing up. And so the federal government, different agencies in the federal government and private foundations commissioned us to develop a report that would give them guidance on how to move forward to prevent bullying. This report is important because we found that not only is bullying very common, but among certain group of youth, like youth that are LGBT, youth who have disabilities such as autism, or overweight youth, bullying is a very, very common problem, affecting up to half, if not three quarters of those youth. We also found that bullying has very important long-term as well as short-term effects on kids, psychological effects, somatic effects, academic effects. And those effects really can affect them not only while they're in school, but for the rest of their lives. So therefore, we really put together a report that lays out a groundwork for how to combat the problem of bullying. There is a lot that we can do about bullying. We know that there are programs such as multifaceted programs for schools that do have an effect, that do decrease bullying. We also know that states have laws. We don't know, though, whether those laws are effective. There needs to be more evaluation of the effect of those laws. We do know that some policies, such as zero tolerance policies in schools, where a child who bullies is expelled or suspended, really aren't effective, and they're actually harmful to the kids who are involved. We also know that we need better data on the prevalence of bullying, not only for the overall population, but for also for high-risk groups. We also feel that the social media companies need to step up and have policies related to bullying and to implement them on their websites and to provide us data about how effective those policies are. Parents need to realize that bullying does occur. And if their child is having problems in terms of depression or missing school because they feel like they're sick, well, parents need to really inquire about whether or not they're being bullied. And they should contact their school, they should contact their pediatrician if their child is bullying to get help. Parents can also be involved with their PTAs to make sure that the school has an effective bullying prevention program in place.